Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Let's begin. We all have attractive qualities within us. Maybe you're the comedic type or the kind soul or the sweet friend. Perhaps you're gifted in the arts or at chess, or maybe you're a math whiz. Whatever it is that makes you stand out, odds are you hope your crush notices these great qualities. But what if we have a hard time showing them to others right away? What if the person we admire can't quite notice the great things that make you, you? Well, you could hope they will eventually notice, or you can use a few psychology tricks to point them in the right direction. Today, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Well, multiple secrets, psychological secrets. Number one, buy a gift for your crush and yourself. <sighs> Who doesn't love gifts? You may have considered gifting your special someone something they'd like, but if you want them to bond with you more, give yourself the same present as well. According to several studies, someone is likely to feel closer to you if you give them something you own as well. Researchers call this behavior companionizing. Think of it this way. You slide over a neatly wrapped present towards your date. They open it, and to their surprise, it's a lovely handmade bracelet. They appreciate it, but then you roll up your sleeve and show that you too have a matching bracelet, a paired gift. Not only will they enjoy their gift more knowing someone out there has another part of it, but they'll feel closer to you as well. Number two, ask them for a favor. Hmm, a favor. Wouldn't asking someone for something cause them to not like you? Well, according to the Benjamin Franklin effect, not exactly. When we do nice things for someone, our brain will assume we like them. Why else would we do such a kind favor? We wouldn't do a favor for someone we don't like. This is called the Benjamin Franklin effect and it was used by Franklin to turn his haters into his best friends. When Franklin ran for his second term as clerk of the General Assembly, one of his colleagues delivered a lengthy speech to the legislature, hating on Franklin. Franklin had judged this man might become an influence in government, so he devised a plan to make his enemy his friend without, according to Franklin, paying any servile respect to him. As a book collector and library founder, Franklin was known for having stellar taste in literature among many. Franklin wrote a letter to his rival asking to borrow a book from his library, one which was a very scarce and curious book. Flattered, the haters sent the book immediately and received a thank you note from Franklin when returned. The next time he saw Benjamin Franklin, he not only talked to him in person with a new outlook, but became good friends with him. Wow. Plenty of studies have further proved the Benjamin Franklin effect to be, well, effective. So go ahead and ask your crush for a favor. They may just find themselves liking you back. Number three, use the triangle technique for engaging eye contact. So you can't stop looking at your crush's dreamy eyes, can you? Well, you may have heard that good eye contact can make you appear more confident and likable, but you might wanna take it easy. The staring is kind of creeping them out. I mean, where's the line between confident eye contact and creepy staring? Well, to help you out, you can try using the triangle technique. Simply imagine an upside down triangle on your crush's face. Imagine two corners over your crush's eyes and the third over their mouth. When you begin your conversation with them, shift your gaze to each point for about five to 10 seconds. This will help you appear confident and interested, but you do need to actually listen to the conversation for this to work. Number four, show your positive side. People enjoy being around others who are happy. If someone's encounters with you are mostly positive, they'll start to associate positive emotions with you. This is good because if they're going to fall for you, they have to be happy around you. Thing is, if someone is happy and sticks to that emotion, others around them will start feeling better as well. A research paper from the University of Hawaii and Ohio State University suggests that many individuals can unconsciously tell what mood you're in just by being around you. Seems fair, right? So if you're in a good mood, emit that energy. Bring out your positive chi. Whoever you're around will likely sense your mood and give in and feel happier around you. And number five, make a good first impression. It's no secret that first impressions leave a lasting mark. According to a study published in the Journal of Social Psychological and Personality Science, first impressions from a photograph of someone can influence another's judgment of them, even after they've met. In the study, people would evaluate others based on their photographs and then meet them. The first impression through the photograph influenced the individual's judgment of the person, even after they met them formally. 
When you do decide to muster up the courage to ask your crush out, leave a lasting impression, a good one. It's a good start for one thing, and sooner or later, they may be falling for you before you know it. So don't be late for the first meetings and emit that positive chi. Do you plan to use any of these secrets on your crush? What do you like about your crush? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your crush. And if you need more helpful romance tips, check out our other video, Six Behaviors That Make Someone Chase You, right here on Psych2Go. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.